well, well, well. Back at it again, boys. We are back. Right. Um, we'll talk to everybody is what we'll do. What do you want is the real question, little lady. Um, what do you think of our current situation? Oh, I'm special. No, not really. Nothing right now, we'll talk again later. Right, let's talk to... Uh, we'll talk to you, Dawnstar. Hey... I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm interested in how you are on stars. Is there anything bothering you? Um, uh, understandable considering the injustice that was done. Hmm, it's debatable. It is debatable. Um, you were abandoned. Tell me about that. No, that's not that bad then. Oh, shit. Me, I feel like my abandonment was partially my fault, but I was three and I couldn't help being different. I would have tried to fit in if I had been given a chance. Right, let's see what's the best response. Eh. Uh... Oh, there we look at that. We can slide in there, boys. Don't feel bad for being special. In my eyes, you have no choice. Mm hmm. Goodbye for now. Um, we'll talk to the big dune. If it'll let me talk to the big mother of God. Look at how janky this can be. Oh, for some reason I can't talk to the big dude. Talk to Scar. Uh, do you have a minute to talk? Um, how does that make you feel? Death oh. Uh, how did the track go? That's my ball. Yeah, that's terrible. I'm sorry to bring this up. Uh, 
Um, things like this are important to dwell upon. All right, boss man. Right, to be honest, I think I've cleaned up in King... No, Tien's Landing, not fucking King's Land. This ain't Game of Thrones. Uh, but yeah, I think I've cleaned up everywhere. So, the next best thing to do is probably just to talk to everybody. To talk to the flyer dude and then get ourselves off, I reckon. Oh, shite. Um, tell me about your life before you were captured. <laughs> mm. This guy is the pinnacle of marriage. Mm, definitely worse, my dude. Um, yeah, why doesn't she like you fighting? Alright. Yeah. Um... No, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to speak to his wife. Um, well, that's something to be proud of, I guess. Um, what do you think about our current situation? Um, that's all for now. Alright, let's talk to Sagacious Zoom. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about what Inquisitor Lim said about you. Must be difficult to regret the deaths of so many. Ah, never regret killing someone else. I mean, I won't put that one because we're doing it with being good. Uh, it must be difficult to regret the deaths of so many. Oh, alright, brother. Clear now. This guy needs to chill. Just calm down. Um, why did you leave the assassins? Why do you hate them so much?
Uh, I see nothing in what they do that would scare off a kill like you. I mean, all right. Uh, goodbye for now. Um, I don't want to get past that way. I found this inscrutable power source. I mean, it is yours anyway, it's not mine. Uh, tell me about yourself, I want to learn more about you. That's not good. The wind map doesn't lead to the Imperial City. All right, let's go. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, ah, you bastard. There we go. Oh. Whoa. Don't stay away from all these bombs that have been dropped. Hey, look at that. Woo! Smashed it, boys. Uh, you see a cloud burst, press the attack button to close. Okay, that should be interesting.
Um, it's all for now. Right, so... So, we'll have to speak to him again then, sure. I mean, I'm ready now. We have what we need. Let's go to the Imperial City. Let's hope so, too. Uh, the route is played with enemy ships. What do you want to do? Great, we'll attack him. It's more fun that way. So the dragon fire is mental. Is what it is. Hey, uh, bastard, there we go. Oh. Can't, like, adjust where my character looks, really. Well, 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 I say cags, I mean where the airplane looks. Boom! Beautiful. Whoa. Wait, where's he gonna land though? All right. Oh, that just looks massive, this place. Ooh. Uh, of course, I am Lou the Prodigy, a simple traveler. Mm. Well done. It's that lady. Yo, Swift, how's it going, brother? I thought you were at work. Or have you just finished, man? Oh, she does not mess around, does she? Ah, finished at three. That's not too bad then, man, is it? It's alright. 
There's no game sound. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, me check something. What about now? Is there any game audio now, brother? An interesting guys, by what name should I refer to you? Oh, there's still no game sound. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Let's, um, what about now? Ghost forgive me, princess. No, 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 I'm using my uh, my laptop now, dude, so I can see chat perfectly fine. Um, but what it is is every time you said something, I've changed something to see if it'll work. I mean, I can try. Give me just a moment. Yeah, no, there's no. Oh, why? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, 
Let's try that. Very well, we will continue speaking later. I'm sure we both have questions that need answering. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sun Leanne requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. I cannot believe that it's been like that for that long. Yeah, normally, right, so the settings that, I've, that I use are the same settings that I always use. It's exactly the same, I haven't changed a thing. Um, when the Imperial City is revealed, Silk Fox reveals her station, and the Lotus Assassins are infiltrated. The marvelous dragonfly bears you away from Tien's landing toward the Imperial City. The fall of Gal the Great and the assassin Lin will have far-reaching consequences, and your enemy will not let your actions go unanswered. Terrible forces gather ahead, and as you draw close, they will leave their mark as surely as you have left yours. Yeah, I don't get why that will happen. It were... You know, it was exactly the same as what I've had, had it says the whole time. Um, right, we've got to level up anyways. Go like that. Yeah, we'll get one more on focus actually. Focus is really good, it's what I've learned. Stone them all. No, no, no. Up. Yeah, let's get that G damage. Might as well. Then what we're gonna go for is um a bit of fortune's favourite. Increase the damage a little bit. Cost reduction and speed increase. Yeah, there we go. We'll get all that sorted. So, is this, does everything sound alright now then, Aaron? Everything sound good? It's interesting. I the outcry. Good, I'm glad. You know, it was literally the only the only time I didn't do a recording and that's what happened. I can't believe it. It's usually what I do to make sure everyone's working is I do a quick little recording beforehand. And this is like the only time I've not done one. And now all of a sudden, and then it breaks. It's about bloody right. Uh, I ain't got a clue where I'm going, by the way. So I'm too busy trying to fix that. Big part. Silver. Odin. Um. Well, now we'll ignore the guards. Be on the lookout for the scourge Whoa. of the south. It is your duty as citizens of the Empire to report anyone who matches this description. Keep an eye out for a young man dressed in plain blues and greens. 
He is heavily armored from head to foot. Reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and fully armed. This man is very dangerous. Do not try to apprehend the Scourge of the South, but instead report what you've seen to the authorities immediately. That's not good, is it? <laughs> Scourge of the South! Is that the best they could come up with? They miss your looks too! <laughs> <laughs> what a boy. What a boy. Big man himself. has destroyed whole villages in the south let's speak to her spite, the oh no flooded, ancient don't talk to us that's a shame huh these bounties won't call greeting citizen imperial captain sen at your service or it's also it seems you think it seems you recognize it's me scum. uh i might wait for the if right bra uh, the right price for, you have some explaining to do Admittedly, you don't resemble the ones described to me, but they're several days late. No doubt they'll blame it on the foolish ghost stories. Yeah. Criminals with lucrative bounties on their heads. I need help tracking down a pair of criminals. Are you interested in a little well paying work? And yeah, why not? Uh, I'm interested. Tell me what you need done. These two scoundrels have eluded my best efforts, so I'm turning to bounty hunters. It's harder to run when your pursuers are not in a uniform. It's a shame, but the army gave up trying to arrest me years ago. Too many casualties. Guess I should have sent home more missing limbs than missing heads. <laughs> I'm searching for an arsonist and a notorious confidence man. Find and eliminate either one, and there's a standard bounty in it for you. How oh, beautiful. Too good for standard, but it's often with something better. <laughs> Do you people have some sort of code that requires each one of you to bargain about this sort of thing? No, I just want more silver. Sure, this money doesn't come out of your pocket. The Empire won't miss a few extra coins. I do enjoy going through this dance with each new contract. You've made your point. I'll add an extra percentage to both bounties and find some way to justify the extra cost to the Ministry of Harmony. Alright, alright. That price I'm happy to have. wise decision. The two criminals are Fading Moon and Creative Yukong. Fading Moon is an arsonist who was last spotted heading for the necropolis. Bruh. Creative Yukong has virtually disappeared, though we may be able to learn something from Lady Rento, the wife of the man Yukong bilked. She's in the Imperial Arena. Let's say the details surrounding Creative Yukong. Yukong some silver from Lord Rento. Powerful man in the Ministry of Harmony. Yukong is a master of disguise, and he has hidden himself somewhere in the city. Lord Rento is away on court business, but his wife informed me that she'd be in the heart of the Empire in the Imperial Arena if we needed her. You could start there. Alright. Some info about that. I want to hear more about Fade and Moon. Is an arsonist. Her first fires were in the poor quarters. But her last one spread to the market district gate. Last we heard, she had escaped to the necropolis. Uh, well, there was nothing done to catch her earlier. Well, as I said, she confined them to the poor districts. She would have been impossible to catch in that rat's nest. More frankly, there isn't enough money to make it worth my effort. Ah, oh, right, I see. I see the scene the crime. here in the poorer districts will be closed for some time while repairs are underway. There's nothing particular about the scene of the crime, just ash. Um, I should right go. You Remember to keep an eye out for anyone suspicious. Okay. 
So, now 60 XP. And we move on, boys. We move on. The Scourge associates with nefarious fox spirits. So been that way, my soul. Of our once the only bridge. problem in the Imperial City is deciding where to spend your silver first. I've heard rumors of a young hero making quite a stir in Tien's Landing. It's me, my dude. Ok, we will all fear. San Have you seen any ghosts? I've see looked everywhere, but I can't find any. I'm assuming that janky buddy thing. Sounds of the Golden Way. So. Emperor Sun Hai is a great man. Without him, the Empire would still be living in a drought. So these are just people that are really, really fond of the, um, the Emperor. Um, the History of Flight, Volume 4. Sometime after scholar Xu Wen and his prototype fly disappeared, an apprentice from the Imperial City discovered the scholar's cryptic notes detailing the use of the inscrutable power source. The apprentice showed the information to his master, General Sung Tao. Sung Tao was an engineer before he joined the army, and he recognized the potential of the scholar's work. He convinced Emperor Sun Si Wen to fund a project to develop a flyer for use in the army. The Emperor agreed rapid, uh, rapidly, agreed readily, and after several months of trying, the first true flyer was created. Within a year, the skies near the Imperial Palace were filled with flyers, though the safety of the new flyers was questionable. It didn't take long for others to adopt and improve upon the design. Oh, very nice. My father lived through the drought. He can attest to the marvelous change Emperor Sun Hai has brought to the Empire. Do I Emperor Sun Hai, don't they? I mean, okay. It's as far as I can go in there. That's a boy's probably one there. My brother teases me about ghosts all the time, but I don't think there are any. They're just talking about ghosties. Break that and get my like two silver. Beautiful. Hey, let's have a look around. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just a blacksmith shop. Welcome, sure? welcome. Did someone from the Black Leopard School tell you? No, I suppose you don't quite look like one of their students. What the hell's well, he doing well, in there? If you're looking for weapons, I have He's been hotboxing. 100% he has been hotboxing. Um. Yes, I will. Here you go. There's quite a lot, so take your time. Um. Dragon sword. Um. Flawless. Barb nickel dying. Craftsman's litany. Dragon sword, uh, part weapon, race focus, 25% damage over basic sword style. Is that better than what I've got? Two, no. So, and it's literally just all my gems. Roth, mate, you're not having any of my gems. I wonder if the Fortune's favourite. If it is a soul, how would I look at it? So I wouldn't want to buy a dragon sword and it turn out and it'd be like, nah, yeah. It's not as good. So it'd just be a waste of silver. Gem of Force. Interesting. Another three silver, beautiful. I haven't seen any ghosts wandering in the city, and I hope I never do. If there are ghosts, why haven't I seen one? All this talk about spirits is just nonsense. It's not nonsense, lady. 
seen him. I fought him. Excuse me. Done that. I gotta get these buns to the scholars' garden. Quick, quick. Now move. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm very sorry. Please accept my heartfelt apologies. My husband has the manners of a strutting cock sometimes. It's all right. Hmm. I seem to recall you rather enjoyed my uh, strutting at one time, old woman. Just now, you offend the gods of decency. This poor traveler's likely to think that the Imperial City is full of indecent folk and offensive talk. That's true. Now, That's true. After all the trouble we've caused you, is there anything we can help you with? We've got fresh buns. Just made them myself. Uh, bad bun if I cram it down your <laughs> mouth. Wow, oh my god. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Uh you mind if I ask you some questions. Talk, talk, talk. That's all people want to do. I don't get paid to talk. I sell buns. That's what I do. So go sell your buns on old man. Ha! Huh. No time to talk, he says. The only time you're ever quiet is when you're eating one of my buns. Now be polite and answer some questions. Uh, tell me what you know. I'm sitting my sleeve here. Do know do that. Who are you two? What are you doing here? We're members of the local traveling circus. I'm a fire eater and Lena is a juggler. We just sell buns on the side to make a little extra silver. Junda, could you try to be civil just this once? This buffoon of a man is Junda, and I am Lena, his wife, as he is fond of reminding me. We sell buns here in the city. Well, I bake, and he sells. He doesn't do a good job of selling, does he? He's just a rude little bastard. Can you tell me about the Imperial City? Tell me what you know about the sand. Decision master leave you here, dude. Decision master leave you here. If he hasn't bought a bun for me, I likely don't know him. Come to think of it, if he hasn't bought a bun for me, I don't want to know him. You're rude Dunda, ass. You withered old coconut. What's your problem? There's more to life than selling these buns, you know. I'm sorry to say I haven't heard of your friend either. And I'm not sure what you mean by master. Try at the Scholar's Garden. The people there might know your friend. Um, who are you two? We'd have done that one. So what you know about this yes, hand. Now there's a name you don't hear often. I'm just a simple bun seller, but even I know enough to be careful who I utter that name around. For once we agree, husband. Death's hand is a walking nightmare. It is said that if you see him coming, then it's already too late. But enough of wives' tales. Just be careful who you mention that name to, unless you wish to draw bad attention to yourself. Um, I should be going. Go then. I have buns to sell, and it doesn't look like you're buying. Well, no shit, I'm not buying. Don't mind him. He just takes a while to get used to. Much like an ache in the bones if it lasts long enough. Eventually, you learn to ignore it. Good day to you. Alright. I really like the music in this place. Very nice. Nice and chill. Do you really think we'll find second brother here in the city? Why ask me? I don't even want to be here. Second brother probably decided he didn't want to listen to Master Radiant anymore, and left to get some peace. Never! Second brother is devoted to Master Radiant. If anything, I suspect Master Smiling Hawk had something to do with his disappearance. What? You dare accuse Master Smiling Hawk? Quiet, you worms. You're here to look for second brother, not bicker like school children. Now get moving. It's a good point, to be fair. Just kicking oh, off. You're a fool if you believe what Master Smiling Hawk teaches. Brute force is not always the best way to win a battle. 
Oh, and Master Radiant's ways are better? I don't think so. Brute force is the only way to get what you want, and I can prove it. How? I'll show you. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here, or we'll throw you out! Ah, uh, whoa. I'm just lazy and please let me pass. You sound like my weakling friend over here. Oh, please let me pass? No. So rude! Now, how about you just turn yourself around before you get hurt? Oh, I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna beat his ass. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Let's Only go. A fool looks forward to a beating. <laughs> I'm gonna also smash his face. In. Some respect. Legendary strike. Whoa. I'll be honest with you, they, got some, they know some interesting styles these days. Use that little shithead, didn't it? Oh! Whoa, oof, no, I can not hear Yakova Krui, me, Rui Cooper, Peter. Peace, third brother. That is no way to treat a guest. Oh, me, Gua, ear, Qua, on, ear, nor your guest. This guest was the fact our novices. You're just going to look the other way. You're just like Master Radiant. Weakened. Enough. Leave us, third brother, before you disgrace the school and yourself, and take these novices with you. Yes, first of I apologize for my outburst. Excuse me. Come on, louts. You'll be scrubbing the dining room floors for your part in this old little altercation. I'm very sorry about that. We are not accustomed to having visitors. My name is First Brother Kai. Welcome to the Black Leopard School. Um. Greetings. I apologize if I've caused any problems. No, nothing more than usual. Normally, this kind of thing would never happen. Fortunately, you seemed more than capable of handling the situation. In all my years, I've never seen anyone but a master with skills like yours. I Try, would not sir. normally ask, but would you be interested in joining our school? It would be an honor to have someone of your skill. Um, I mean, I'm a little busy. Um, yeah, I'll have fair enough. Yeah, so long. Excellent. I must speak with the masters on your behalf. They are the final judge of such matters. Wait here. I want to see if I can learn any more new, te uh, new techniques. See if I can learn something cool. Good news. Master Radiant agreed to let you join. A rare honor indeed. In fact, he would like to meet with you once you have proven yourself. Okay. First, however, Master Radiant wants to ensure that your fight against the novices was not just luck. You must now defeat each of the brothers here at the school. All right, that's cool. Sounds Good. reasonable. A positive attitude will win you many fights before you even begin. You have proven you can defeat our novices. Now you must prove yourself against the brothers. The brothers have trained long and are second only in skill to the masters. Sixth brother is the least skilled, so you will start with him. Work your way to third brother. If you succeed against him, you will then challenge me. I like John. Oh yeah, what about second brother? Second brother is not here. For now, you must face only third brother and myself. After you've defeated the other brothers. I must be honest with you. I believe Master Radiant has a plan in allowing you to join us. As you may have heard, there are two masters at this school. Master Radiant and I have tried for some time to temper Master Smiling Hawk's 
ways. He is cunning and ruthless, and has little regard for students. Is better take Normally that. I wouldn't speak openly about such things, but you are new, and your skill will draw his attention. Be careful. Master Smiling Hawk is a dangerous man. Um... Other castle. Yeah. You'll need to speak with each of the brothers and ask them to fight with you. I'm sure they'll be more than eager to oblige. Once you've defeated all the brothers, come and see me. Good luck. So, I need to find... He's clearly one of the brothers there. Yeah. Oh, I see what the book of the scroll stand says. Black Leopard style. Zhao Hao. Zhao Hao. Or is it be? Zhu Hao. Probably Zhu Hao. Grew up in a small fishing village in the south. His uncle was a great warrior, but he died when Zhu Hao was still quite young. The young man longed to learn the ways of his uncle. But his parents did not want him to get involved in such a dangerous life. Despite their caution, Zhu Hao used his uncle's incomplete journals and notes to teach himself how to fight, eventually creating his own techniques to fill in the blanks. His new style was eventually called Black Leopard Style, and it was one of the most formidable styles of his time. Six Brother so you Gaoshan. Know was challenging our novices earlier. That might impress Master Radiant, but it won't get you noticed by Master oh, Smiling Hawk. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm Sixth Brother Gao Shan. If you think you can defeat a disciple of Master Smiling Hawk, challenge me. I assure you, I'm much tougher than the novices. Yeah, that's fine. All right, follow me. I'm gonna bait his ass. Legendary Stone. Stop off me. Stone Immortal. So slime. Spirit thief. You cannot compare. Longsword, legendary star. So. Oh. Ha. Still bait him up. Was lucky. I'll be ready for you next time. Okay, big man. Of course you will. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Keep yawning. Can't help myself. Um, we'll keep searching. Oh. Just look at here. Filthy little swine. Look what you've done. Do you think I have nothing better to do than to clean up after you pigs all day long? Yes, mistress. I, I mean, no, mistress. <laughs> Get out! Get out of here before I break your skull open, you little rat! See, don't. Now that's a woman. I wouldn't mind taking a beating from her myself. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I didn't think she'd be outside. I'm not getting any ideas now. She's not your type anyway. I don't want to have to fight you for her, but I will if I have to. <laughs> uh, don't worry about well when she's all yours. Glad we understand each other. Look, here she comes. Hmm. This isn't a public restaurant. We only serve the students here. You'll have to go back to the city if you're hungry. Um, I am a us, mistress. We just wanted to know how you came about your beautiful name. It seems so fitting. <laughs> Don't patronize me, you overgrown tree stump. I had a beautiful singing voice, but it was ruined during a freak costume incident during an opera I was performing. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I've had enough of that throughout my life. I once sang for the emperor himself. I may not have my voice, but I still have my dignity. Oh, that's really too bad, mistress. I would enjoy hearing you sing, perhaps over a bowl of wine sometime? <laughs> I'd rather be dipped in boiling oil and fed to cannibals. Now get out of my dining hall. I have work to do. 
Uh, I could ask you some questions. Ask what? Go ask your teacher if you have questions. Tell me more about hey. yourself. Is this some ploy to get an extra serving of fish in your soup tonight? It won't work, you know. But since you ask, I am the headmistress here at the school. I organize everything that these witless fighters forget to do. Paperwork, laundry, cooking, you name it. That's quite important, job. really. Never so much as a smile or a wave as I labor over my work. If it wasn't for me, this <laughs> place would fall apart. <sighs> tell me about the Black Leopard School. You're the student, you tell me. What is there to tell? The boys come and learn to fight, and they think that's all there is to the world. Yeah, Learning you tell them fight. later. They are very good at both, but put any one of them in a room with a lady and they just wither away. What's the point in teaching a man to learn and fight if he can't even relate to the people he's supposed to protect? Eh, uh, what do you know about the masters? Masters? Ha! I'm the only master of this school. Those other two hide in their rooms all day long doing who knows what. How can you be master of anything when you never participate? It's unnatural. Of course, it wasn't always that way, or at least that's what I've heard. There was only one master once. Makes sense to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as I always say. Mm-hmm. She's got a poem. I must be going. Good. Goodbye. I have work to do. She's a very angry lady, isn't she? Very angry lady. Right. Ooh. Obvious hand power. Certainly taught us a thing or two about fighting. Why are you told? It was foolish of us to challenge you earlier. No. I apologize for my impudence. The brother wrench. You have accomplished nearly enough to warrant my attention. Maybe you'll be good enough one day. No, they're basically just the dudes up. There you go. Smiling Hawks room. City door cannot be opened at this time. That's fine. Shut that on people. That's cool. Break the bars. Damn man. Fifth Brothers room. What is this? Jar. 22 silver. Oh, yes, boys. Let's open the door. Fourth brother, no, I want fifth. You, uh, you must going be to fight. Student. I'm fifth brother Shang Jin. There's been quite a stir regarding your entry into the school, most unorthodox. It would seem Master Radiant is up to his tricks again. Regardless, you've defeated sixth brother, so we can spar. Would you care to try your skills against mine? 100%, man. I'm gonna be the piss eye. Uh, yes, I like fire yeah, now. Follow me. Scared a good go. Oh, bloody see, because of the light, then. Goddamn spears and basically the staff, the spears, just the long weapons because, um, like, actually, like, gauging reach in this Thank is ridiculously hard to do, to and it's hard to close close it down as well because you move really slow when you're going forward, so it's hard to sort of reach out. So we beat four, uh, fifth brother. We need to beat fourth brother now. This Hello, dude. my name is Fourth Brother Yu, and you must be the new prodigy. First Brother told us to watch out for you. 
He said that you're very talented. I am indeed, thank Since you. Since you've defeated Fifth Brother, perhaps you'd let me decide just how talented you are. Care for a match? Of course, that's why I'm here. Yes, that's fine. Let's go then. Well, interesting. Stone Immortal. Legendary Strike. He uses that storm dragon more. Boom. Big. Big damage. Bush we drain him. Legendary strike. Bush. Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. Very impressive. I can see the masters were right to let you train with us. Well, thank you for the fight. Hey, you're welcome, sir. Okir Okun won Pipi. So you've defeated fourth brother you. Finally you'll get your chance to see what a real fighter can do. Soon enough. I'm sure you're very skilled there, brother. Don't patronize me. I'm not falling for your false flattery. Master Smiling Hawk wants to see you. you send me to escort, you follow me. Um, good, I've been looking forward to meeting him. Master Smiling Hawk has even less patience than I do. Let's go. Thank you, third brother. That is all. You are dismissed. Yes, Master Smiling Hawk. Wow, he's scared for a minute. So, you are the new student I have heard so much about. Rarely does someone so young display the ability that you have shown. I noticed that you did not come from one of our usual schools. Do you mind if I ask you who your real master is? Uh, Master of Two Rivers. Him. Nevertheless, he obviously taught you well. You have talent. And with second brother's death, we have need of a new brother. I'm second I asked brother. Him to do something for me. He refused. Oh, so, so he killed him. Master Radiant is holding this school back. He's holding me back. Radiant is weak. He follows the way of harmony. His methods are slow and pitiful. This school belongs to me. I want Master Radiant removed, and you're the one to do it. You have certain abilities that will enable you to defeat my rival. Deal with this yourself. I want no part of it. I would deal with it myself if I could. However, Radiant is a unique problem, and you are the solution. You are the only one here capable of defeating Master Radiant. And rest assured, I will reward you extremely well for ridding me of him. I'll just beat you up. To begin man. with, you'll have to deal with First Brother Kai. Destroy him, and you'll only be left with Radiant. But together, they would be too powerful. Oh no, her first brother, Kyle Master so, Radiant. First brother is already winning you over, I see. He is pathetic, and so is his precious master. Well, no, there's just no things need I to. Ask, and I will teach you things that no one else can. I also have a few rare items that should appeal to you. Simply kill first brother and master Radiant. The task is straightforward. You don't get any help from me. You are a fool. You could have had everything. Instead, you will not survive your match with third brother. I will see to it. Now get out. Whoa. It's a bit. Oh, than a bit angry, won't it? Let's go by. Uh, go, right, you were in the dining area. Whispering Willow. Their brother Rancher. You were a fool to choose Raiden over the smiling hole. You were also fool enough to challenge me to a fight. Your talk is cheap, their brother. Let's fight. Ah! 
Master Smiling Hawk has given me new training. I enjoy watching you suffer. I'm gonna beat you up, boy. Oh, I can't dodge or anything. I can't even attack. I love, I love ending it like that with kick. Oh, no, you. You, you oh, cheated, you no, can't beat me, I'm better than you. Clearly not. Just beat you up. yourself further, third brother. Accept your defeat and learn from it. This isn't over. You'll both pay for this. That was quite a match. I've never seen third brother Rinshan fight that well, and yet you still beat him. I'm the best. Thanks, it was a difficult fight. Uh, I think you had help from Smiling I Hawk. I suspected something was amiss, but you overcame it and you still won. I'm right, I did. Master Radiant was sure you would prevail. He asked me to bring you to him once you defeated Third Brother. You won't have to test yourself against me after all. Come, let's go see him. He is anxious to speak with you. All right. Come in, come in quickly. Shut the door behind you. It gets so cold and drafty in here. I can almost feel the wind blowing right through me. <laughs> that was a joke. My young student, you are free to laugh if you feel so inclined. So, everyone is so serious around here these days. If there's one thing I've learned since I died, it's not to take yourself too seriously. It can all end in an instant. And then it's too late to enjoy your life. So, you're dead? Dead and buried. Food for the worms, as they say. Now I'll be wondering why the school still follows the dead master, hmm? My spirit could not leave this place due to the way I was killed. First brother and I keep my death a secret, well, he and second brother, until his recent demise. The other students just think I'm an irritable old curmudgeon who doesn't like to be disturbed. I'm not too far from the truth, but no doubt you're wondering how I died. Oh, I'm assuming it was that hawk dude or whatever the fuck it's called. Yes, I would like to know. Good. It's nice to have a new listener. Unlike some people who nod their head and pretend to listen. What did you say, first brother? Master, I never. Oh, stuff it. Not like I really expect you to listen. Talking just helps to keep my mind sharp. Now, oh, where was I? Oh, yes. The story of my demise before Master Smiling Hawk was a master. He was third brother Leo. He was a gifted student, although not a very good fighter. He preferred books and knowledge over combat. His, his thirst for knowledge was unhealthy. Smiling Hawk was never content with his place. Eventually, he sought to move beyond his station and take way hand not yet earned. It's a dangerous path to tread. What's wrong with wanting more? Um, that's a dangerous path to dread. Very dangerous, especially for anyone who got in his way. At any rate, Smiling Hawk turned his considerable intellect to advancing himself. Smiling Hawk was smart, but he wasn't wise. He discovered a technique that allowed him to harness another person's style and power. This technique was unnatural. I reprimanded him and told him to stop, stop dabbling with the things with things that he could not control of course in my arrogance i assumed he would obey my wise instructions but smiling hawk had no intention of letting go of his newfound technique 
hard to soft again, and even harder to let go. Excellent point, and one that very few people will grasp. You may have proved to be an excellent student. At any rate, Spartan Hawk decided to try out his technique on me. With my power, he could become first brother, and more. The smiling hawk failed to realize the true nature of his technique. It does not merely borrow your style and power, it takes your life. So with one stealthy encounter, the smiling hawk not only gained my fighting powers, but also eliminated the one person who could challenge him. There's nothing more humiliating for a master than waking up and realizing you've been beaten by a bookworm. In your own room, no less. What a shameless act of cowardice. Yes, but deadly just the same. There is a fine line between ambition and greed, and lust. A smiling hawk crossed the line and hasn't looked back since. Smiling hawk chose the easy route to power, but it has cost him. The power has changed him and corroded his spirit, but it also makes him very powerful. First brother and I have kept him in check barely, but the balance. The balanced, no, the balance, slowly turns in his favor as he gains more and more power. Uh, so can we stop him? I'll deal with smiling hope. That is precisely why I brought you here. You alone have the skill and strength to defeat smiling hawk. There's something different about you. As a spirit, I can see your power. And it's, so, and it's source. It's different for you than for anyone I've ever met. I won't tell you that Smile Hawk cannot harm you, but I'm certain that he cannot steal your power. Not the way you stole mine, at any rate. Uh, why doesn't he just finish your war? Why don't you kill yourself? Why don't Smile Hawk just tell everyone you were dead? Why doesn't he just finish your war? Master Smile Hawk stole. Um, stole, uh, no, soul, soul, god damn. Master, Hawk, Master Smiling Hawk's sole advantage is stealing of his powers, but he can't steal from me what he's already stolen, or so he believes. He had given no experience battling spirits, and he fears that he may, he, that he just may lose. He is driven by greed, but controlled by fear. Why don't you kill myself? Why didn't Smiling Hawk just tell everyone you were dead? Uh, why don't Smiling Hawk just tell everyone you were dead? How would he explain it? How would he know I was dead? Unless, of course, he had something to do with it. To prove my death, he'd have to implicate himself. Uh -uh. Why aren't you killing yourself? He took my power and second brothers too. He is at least my equal now, if not more. If first brother tries to aid me, Smiling Hawk would steal his powers too. I'm the only thing keeping him in check. If I fail to defeat him, there will be nothing standing in his way for now. This fear of my powers as a spirit keep him at bay. Uh... I will destroy the Smiling Hawk. Ah. Humility is not one of your strengths. Fortunately, you will not need humility against the Smiling Hawk. Good luck. Well, be careful, but be courageous. I know you have what it takes to defeat Smiling Hawk. Oof. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick save, just in case, because I've got a feeling that the fight with him isn't going to be easy. It's probably going to be a bit dodge, a bit scuffed. So we'll save. Yeah, I do want to look upstairs, actually. Oh, scroll stand. Master Black Leopard. By the time Zuha was 20, he had already mastered his new style. Rather than leave his small home, he decided to start a school and have the students come to him. Word slowly spread throughout the south of a new master teaching a, a unique style. In time, the school became known. No, the school became one of the most powerful in all the south, and Zhu Hao soon became known as Master Black Leopard. Though he gained many eager students, 
Zhu Hao never gave away all his secrets to Black Leopard staff, believing instead that his students should create for themselves a new style out of the basics, just as he had. Black Leopard style died with Master Black Leopard, and no one since has been able to learn its deeper secrets. They got a lot of nice lore in this game. I quite like it. It's the room I've just been in. Um, quick save again. Final Hawk's room. I should have killed you sooner. You had such promise. But in the end, you were just like second brother. Soon you will share his fate as well. I won't, dude. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm not afraid of you, smiling hawk. I do not require you to be afraid in order to kill you. You can die in ignorance, like Master Radiant before you. But for what? Radiant is dead. His time has passed. Now is the time for the living. Help me destroy him, and I will make this school more powerful than ever before. Now you see why I need you. You have the power to deal death to the spirits, to Radiant. I will give you one chance to change your mind. Now that you have seen what Radiant truly is, help me remove him and I will reward you. Uh, you are crazy if you think I'd join I liked you, and I had so hoped we could come to some sort of agreement. But I suppose that just won't work. Now I will give you a demonstration of true skill. Unfortunately, you won't be around long enough to learn from it. I will. <laughs> Oh, I'm baiting him up nicely. Stone immortal. He's attacking Master Smiling Hawk. I'm going to finish you off this time. No, third brother, I have a much better use for you. I was going to steal his thing. Master, no. Oh, he stole, yeah, he's stolen the shit. Oh, wow. Now we will finish this. There's a nasty guy in it. It's petrified for now, but I'm disorientated too. Oh, wow, this disorientated crap. Legendary strike. Can't do it whilst I'm disorientated. Let's dodge that one. Legendary strike, stone immortal. This is Master Smiling Hawk! You killed him! I mean... He's cho he chose his fate. Attack me and your fate will be similar. What about it? Do you wish to defend his honor? I could not let him ruin the school. Uh, I could not let him ruin the school. Will you be joining what? him? No! First brother sent me to find you. He was worried Master Smiling Hawk's followers might overwhelm you. I can see that isn't the case. Master Radiant and First Brother are waiting for you. I'll go tell them that you survived. Indeed. Well done, well done. Indeed. There's something about your fighting. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it is most unique. Whatever it is, it serves you well. With Smiling Hawk gone, I can finally heed the call on my spirit much. 
It's, I can find a call on my spirit much longer and I would have been torn from this place forcibly. Master, why must you leave? I still have so much to learn from you and we need a strong master to rebuild the school. Brother Kai, there's some things you must learn for yourself. As long as I stay here, I'm holding you back. And besides, you are ready. You know enough and what you do not know, you'll figure out. That is what it means to be a master. A wise choice. Kai will make an excellent master. Congratulate. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. A wise choice, Kai. An excellent master. You. If it wasn't for you, well, this never would have happened. It seems nope, to me that you it would not. You should receive this honor. But uh, uh, don't let Kai's compliments go to your head. You did us a great favor, and you're welcome here anytime. But you're no master. You are very likely the most skillful I've ever known. But your path lies in a different direction. May directions, if I don't miss. I guess. The school needs to go in right now, Kai offers that. One day, when you your adventures are done, you'll make a great master. Until then, uh, your thanks is enough. That's okay. I don't want to last after all, I've done that. So your thanks is enough. Ah, humility is overrated. I'll offer something more than thanks. Before I leave, I'll teach you a style I learned in the spirit world. I was afraid to use it against my hog. If he had stolen it from me, it would have been almost unstoppable. Well, are you interested in learning? Or are you just going to stand there? Uh, yes, I'm very interested. Watch and learn. If you are as good as you seem, you should not... You should only have to show you... I should only have to show you once. Oh god, my reading skills are pathetic. The style you just learned is very rare. Its original master died centuries ago. The spirits know it, and now you do as well. You must be going first, Brother Kai. You must be going. First, Brother Kai will never truly be master until I'm gone. The students must follow him, and him alone. I would speak with you alone, Master Radiant, before you go. If you wait outside, I will join you in a minute. I have something I would like to offer you, and thanks for your help. Okay, okay. Farewell, and good luck, Master Radiant. Good luck to you, as well. You'll need it. Oh, alright, alright. Oh, ooh, Paralyzing Power, that's cool. I really wanted to see if he knew Master Lee. And I'm left to lead this school on my own. I miss him very much, but at least we are rid of Smiling Hawk. I wanted to thank you for all you've done. But I also wanted to show you some items that belong to Master Smiling Hawk. I thought you might find something of interest. I'm glad I could help. Is there anything more I can do? You're welcome to visit the school and spar with us whenever you like. The students need someone like you to knock some sense into them from time to time. I should go. And I should get back to the students. There is so much I need to do, I barely know where to begin. Thank you again for everything. <sighs> right, so I learned the paralyzing style. That's what I've learned. Like, that's the main thing. I think I've been everywhere in the school, yeah. There's nowhere, I'm There's nowhere else I can really go here. Uh, Paralyzing Palm. There's a new one. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else around the school I can really go. That was just like a shrine almost. Same with there. So, a silver ends. Let's go back down, is what we'll do. Oh, a nice, cool little side quest there that we just started, we just done. I really enjoyed it. Black Leopard School. Yo, how are you doing, brother?
Go to the commoners. Uh, they're just boys and girls. Oh, you're ordering Chinese? Are you ordering anything specific? Chicken fried rice, nice. Um, we're not getting no chow mein or anything. No pork balls. Oh, ah, ah. Won that fight, Zhang, but you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver? No, what? So you just gonna have chicken fried rice? Joe, honestly, I don't have anything else. Whoa! Sent him flying. There's no need for that. You needed something for to witness it, one? Yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to retire. You need to get yourself some chow mein or some like that as well. So Chinese, we have chow mein or, or some fight, duck. Do what they oh, duck's you. nice. What just happened? You couldn't see for yourself. I was just retired from the Imperial Arena. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Oh, okay. I do feel bad for the geezer. Especially considering that he just literally just threw him down the bloody stairs. It's a patron. That take uh let's read the scroll stand. Gaze upon these words of reverence, for they offer some small slice of history of the most glorious contest in the arena. The Ravager. Deadly, cold, and precise. The Ravager refuses to speak and shows no care for the crowd, but none can question his deadly strength, wildly popular with the more bloodthirsty members of our crowd. The Ravager's rare fights are always sold out. Raging Ox. All of the Imperial City fondly remembers Raging Ox, our recently retired Imperial Champion, quick within a smile and famous for his antics, both in and out of the ring. Ox's legend will live many lifetimes. Kylan the Serpent. Kylan's phenomenal control over magic and his intense focus made him one of the, one of the greatest champions to grace the ring of the Imperial Arena. Cold and imperious, Kylan played to the crowd to cultivate a love-hate relationship that has persisted to this day. Very nice. Right, let's talk to you, Thunderous Tauron. If you don't get all janky on me. Welcome. It's always good to see a new face at the counter. If you've got silver to spend, I'll be happy to help you out. Um... I'm known as Thunderous Tauron. And you are my most honored customer right now, so you have all of my attention. Jamie for team it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all good. Go and have a look if you want, man. Yeah, you've not got to stay here, dude. If I weren't streaming, I'd have popped in and watched him. If you're still streaming when I've finished, I'll pop in. Uh, do you have anything I might be interested in? A warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and sods the usual patrons might pick up. Uh, well, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. But like I said, you are more than welcome to go and join him for a bit. Pop in between, or just go and watch his stream. It's up to you. Oh, well, I appreciate it, dude. 
think it's quite chill me personally Jade Empire that's true FIFA is same old same old Oh, like I said, I'm only going back for season when I go back to play it. Tell me more about the arena. Is named Quee, the promoter. He knows yeah, that, yeah, bang on. Open packs, play Maybe matches, get shafted. Standard procedure, that. If you're interested, he's usually up in his office, up in Standard the procedure. Um, Jonathan, I might be interested. Wait, what? Like a warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and saws the usual patrons might pick up. That's been pulled down by a. Uh... Stop by again. <laughs> Miniature Ravager hoods for the. Yeah, you're not wrong. Any day now. You know you'll want to. Standard procedure, that. It's one of my issues with it. I was fucking thinking, yeah. I was doing really well, and then all of a sudden, pants have been pulled down. I've been slapped up. Or you'll get and you'll just you'll pack somebody terrible as well. Happens if way too, too much. To collect what I owe them, there could be trouble. You look like a strong fellow. Probably need a few bowls to put you under a table, which is good. Not many people sh uh, stopping by recently. What? This place is busy right now. Now is it? I hadn't noticed. Deal. But you're, you're the customer. It's as all as you say. Oh, look around. It's really busy. What it isn't. Here. Some pack out his waist this time. Well, I'm sure he'll say in chat, won't he? What is packed. So you'll have to let me know. However, he, he has got really good pack looks. So it wouldn't surprise me if he, if he does manage to pack somebody good. Suit yourself. I'll try not to worry over my details and I'll drink. Uh, what do you have uh, to drink? Uh, yeah, that could be tricky. Indeed, the gentleman with you has already got on a head start on things. Praise already run sab under your name. Runs in here more often than our glass turns. I can't extend the credit to you as well. I don't blame me, brother. You have to let me know what he parks. <laughs> I didn't approve that I was drinking. Um, you're saying I can't drink because someone else is drinking for me. Exactly. It would wreak havoc on my books if I allowed two people to drink off the same account. The Ministry of Harmony would shut this place down. They'd have to bring a hell of a lot of men. <laughs> I'm certain you understand. And even if not, there's still little I can do now. Now, is there something else I can help you with? I need nothing from you right now. A little bastard drinking she's just a bit games sometimes can be right janky it's for low patron patron z bow gambler right, let's, let's have a look at the um the journal uh no not the pound is what's that uh, sun, Jean, the heavenly lord, the daughter of Emperor's son. Hi, and the and heir to the throne. Jade Empire. She seems to have developed a personal interest in you, although she's clearly adept at manipulating others to further her own goals. It may be a challenge to get along with such a strong world individual. So. So, for there we go. Meet Princess Leanne at the location specified in now. The Scholar's Garden in the Imperial City. Uh, learn what she is in store for you. Uh, I want to know about... Got it. Yeah, be right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Patron. Oh, no, so we can't go out. Like... 
can go that way then. Let's see what Zubao Leave says. Me alone. Oh, all right, fair enough. Uh, there's gamblers, taters, Lady Rento. Oh, I need to speak to Lady Rento actually. Don't you just love the Imperial Arena? No other place like it in all of the Jade Empire. Were you looking for me? I'm Lady Rento, and I was expecting someone sent by Captain Sen. That's right, it's me. I'm going to talk about creative Yukong. Oh, poor Yukong. Captain Sen's still willing to do my husband's bidding and hunt him down, is he? I swear, my husband is insufferable. Yukong's a harmless aspiring actor who asked me if I would act as his patron. Since my husband was away from the city, again, I accepted and gave Yukong a moderate stipend. I thought he was charming. Okay. Why is Yukong one of confidence That was schemes? how my husband presented the situation to the authorities. He didn't want to face the shame of supporting a humble actor. Okay. My husband's a fool, but when he lowers his head, all I can do is let him charge and hope he rams something solid enough to slow him. Alright. Um, how should you give this actor? Probably less than my husband is putting forth as a bounty for poor Yukon. That young man doesn't deserve this. Oh, right. Fair enough. Um, do you have any idea? I have any idea where I could find Creative Yukon? I would wager that you'll find him in the Scholar's Garden. Yukon was going to try out for that new play. It's going to be put on soon in the Golden Way, I'm told. Should be exciting to watch. Yukon was going uh. to try out for a role as a scholar, so he may be using his costume to hide in the garden. He's not much of a scholar, so you should be able to spot him. Well, I mean, let's hope so, eh? Well, uh, actually, I'll get back to what you were doing if you here. Happen to find creative Yukon? Do go easy on him, would you? The poor boy did nothing wrong, and my husband is being unusually cruel to him. Oh no. Good luck with your search. I have to get back to the estate. So much to do. So. The bounties aren't going to go as fun as I expected. Vanguard. Oh, back up a bit there. Judge Fang doesn't like people blocking his view of the arena. Hey, how you doing, brother? Get their nose broken or their leg or even their skull. Ah, standard, bro. Standard. Been a good skull do what you gotta do. Week. It's put him in a foul mood. Yeah, not bad, man. I was saying, yeah. been yawning like mad though, which is crazy considering how much sleep I had. Um, sounds like one sick and twisted I man. Call him sick and twisted. That's an insult to sick and twisted people everywhere. Fangs on a whole other level. I never used to believe the stories, but now that I'm working for him, I can honestly say he's the most degenerate and perverted man in the whole empire. That is true, that is true. Very well. I now do agree. However, what I think it is, I think it's because they put I the heating on, and my room's got incredibly warm now. So, like, you know, I'm getting a bit drowsy from it, and I have my blanket on. Uh, who is Breezes? Can I speak to Judge Fang? Can I speak to Judge Fang? Not an appointment, and his schedule's full for the next month. All the ministers are coming in from the outlying towns yeah, to make their reports. Yeah, that's right. Definitely will, man. If he's not meeting with a minister, I, I think, like I said, I think it's the blanket. So I've took it off. But now my legs are cold, you see. That's the issue. Yeah, the header he's taking a break with breezes. Poor girl. No amount of silver is worth what she does for him. Thing is, right, I've put shorts on. Because that's all I could find. So I'll, like, fuck it. I'll just put shorts on. That'll be alright. And now my legs really cold, so I was like, right, I'll put blanket on, then put the blanket on, and then I'll start getting thingy, start getting sleepy. So, I'm just going to leave it off. I'll just deal with it. Um, I'll be going Good now. Idea. Come back next month. Fang might be taking appointments by then. I don't even care about Fang. 
spectator. I'm looking for a guy that'll let me join the um, the arena. That plus Han. He looks like he's been beaten Hello loads. There. I'm Han. Though fans and well, everyone else call me hapless Han. It's in his face. Fighting in the lower divisions means I never run afoul of the Ravager. Our current champion has nearly killed his last two opponents. See, I look on the bright side of things. Even if my losses make people call me hapless, are numbers really that important? In my mind, it's trying your best that counts. Yeah, you but know, dude, looking at you, I'd say you could hold your own in the arena. Head smashed in non-stop. Was there something else you need? It has been through the blender. Um. How can I join the you arena? You need to talk to Kui, the promoter. He'll start you out. It'll be great to have someone new around the place. Um. It's all I need right from you. Are. Take care. I'm gonna say, like I said, it, 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 his moves are actually starting to piss me off a bit. I know it was an option. That's why I'm like, yeah, no, he's doing my tits in a bit. Sung Sui. One more mistake, Kui, and I'll have you retired. Finding someone else is your problem. Whoa. What? Enough. Find a solution and leave me alone. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes on this, right? They give off small dick energy. This is not well, that bloke just then. Wait a moment. You, you have the look of a fighter about you. Those hands, that stance, even your eyes. I'd know that look anywhere. You must be here to join the most glorious contest in the Empire. Isn't it fortunate that Lucky Cho and I were just discussing how this place needs an infusion of new blood? This place well, you know you wrong? spit you out, or so I'm told. The drinks are the best in the Empire, though. <laughs> Come with me a moment, and we'll engage a tape in some dissertation <coughs> about the best decision you'll ever make. This is turning out to be an excellent day. Most ostapacitatious indeed. The only reason I want to do it is so that I can get more XP. And potentially, um... Potential more money. Aust Auster? Damien Auspicious? I apologize if I'm using words beyond your grasp. Very few people can match either the supply or the command of my language. Uh, course, so for me to bring it up, what, uh, what were you saying? Uh. Of course, silly me to bring it up. What were you saying? Strong build, good shoulders, not half bad looking either. You've got what it takes to make it. Not half day. bad looking, beautiful, you mean, sir? What are you getting at? The question is, can you fight? Are you worthy of the arena? I say the answer is a clarion and resoundering yes. I've heard of it. You were asking around and talking to some of our best and brightest. Your interest tells me all that I well, need to know. I spoke to Hat plus Han. That's it. What say we get you signed up for the greatest attraction in all the Empire? The arena awaits. Um. Before I agree to anything, I need to know the rules of this tournament. Here you fight for silver. Glory is yours for the taking if you value it. The rewards start small, but in the gold division, you could easily retire on your winnings. Ah, gold? In fact, our last champion, Raging Ox, did just that. Suddenly up and left to enjoy his winning, clearing the way for the Ravager to take his place. Mm -hmm. You'll start low and advance on my say-so, but I can already Hell, you're going to expel in this place. You'll not languish in the qualifiers for long. I mean, yeah, I want to join the arena. Oh, yeah, actually, if I joined the arena, who or what would I face? You will face the flashing blade of Crimson Kana, the stern resolve of Iron Soldier, 
and the uh, troublesome triviriate of the Sung Brothers. If you defeat these veterans, you will face the Ravager, our newest champion, who tore his way through the divisions to replace the now retired Raging Ox. So not only can I be like, you know, could have like pretty much beating everybody at the school. If you want his perspicacious thing I can beat everybody up at the arena as well and become the champion. That is what I'm gonna do. Yo! Give up your trees, how you doing, brother? I wanna join the arena. That's what we'll do. proceeds you in your travels. They do chuck a bit of <laughs> Call Lou the uh, Prodigy. Right. A fine name, a fine name indeed. But it won't sell. Not at all. We need Ooh. something more memorable for the crowds. Think of something that would sound engaging, ringing down from the rafters. That's how we'll bill you. Raging Dragon, build me Silver Phoenix, call me Tiger Lifts the Mountain. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's not good. Is there nobody thing here? Is there nobody that you know that lives like, you know, lives near you that you could uh, nick some tablets off if they've got any at the same? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good at all, man. Don't really know what to suggest in that regard, then. Uh, I mean, maybe just sleep. Why well, you're not able to pick them up now? Oh, they're not ready yet, right? That's my but I've not read that bit. You can't sleep, you want. Um, the only other thing I can suggest then is pick a game and just focus on it, man, best you can. That's what I'd do. I'll be on Discord once I've thing, once I've finished streaming. So I'll be there to chat shit with. Uh, Boom is Silver Phoenix. Silver Phoenix. I mean, it seems like a bit rough. A female name, but bugger it. Yes, that's what I want. And that is what you shall have. Come and tell me when you're ready for a fight, and I'll get you started. No code on that, so and alcohol. But is that just to help you sleep? Any other questions? Because if that's the case, why not just stick to night all? Ah, fair enough then, man. That's all I need to know. One other thing. You should talk to the other fighters now and then. They will be watching you, and you should get to know them as well. We're all one big happy family. You're a big happy idiot, Han. As you can see, they always have something to say. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, tell me about my first fight. For your first match, we'll start you off against a mighty ogre. I'll be watching your style closely to see really? how fair. Impress me, and I'll take you to the. Ziff, man. Even our great champions start out against. What? Like, did actually bring one in? Who danced around the BC what was it saying? Did it turn out it was in serious? Wow. Well. well like, say, like, was it, I don't know what actually happened. We use here. But just like some sort of like hoax call. 
Oh, there was a bomb. That's mental. Fucking hell. Didn't go off. That's good. Well, that's good. I figured out as I go along, skip to the fire. That's the spirit. Dive right in with both feet first. It's not that difficult a system, and you seem bright enough That's to That's crazy, bro. Are you ready to get started? Yes, let's begin. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Were you in the bit that had to be closed off or new warrior does were you not in that part? The beast. Oh wow, this guy's massive. Gotta break his stance and he'll thing it. There we go. Well, that's good again, man. That is honestly man. It's crazy, man. That was an impressive beginning. Absolutely crazy to think that that's the sort of shit that goes off. You practically ooze potential. You've caught the eyes of the other fighters as well. Go ask them if you don't believe me. That really was a fantastic bout. I don't care what everybody else thinks. Special. I could have done better bound and blinded. I don't care what they think. One fight does not make a champion, though. There are many more opponents ahead of you. Let's move on, shall we? What about my next time? You held your own against the ogre brute last time. I'm going to try something exciting for the crowd. I've got four boys from some school west of the city who've been bothering me for some tougher matches. I'm giving you all of them at once. It'll wow the crowd and teach them a lesson at the same time. Remember to watch your sides and back. Are you ready to get started? Yes, let's Excellent. begin. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Let's see. Four oh, students God. test their skills against oh, one Jesus. Beat them up normal. There we go. <laughs> one kick, one kick. Finished him off. Easy clap, boys. Easy clap. Those boys won't be back anytime soon. Losing as a group to one opponent would shame a peasant, let alone a student of the martial arts. One second. Sorry about my next fight. The crowd's starting to catch on to you. Have you noticed? People like you, and now I'm going to make sure they pay attention. I'm going to have a roughly hewn statue hauled into the ring. I want you to discomfortulate it. Destroy the statue quickly enough, and I'll give you a shot at hapless harm. Are you ready to get started? I am ready. Yes, let's begin. I mainly, I just want to want to get as much silver as I can. That's the key for me. Stone meets the press of time. Oh.
Oh, well, we're right, dodgy that. Excellent work. You have bested time itself in destroying that statue. No mean feat, I assure you. Do about my next fire. I think you're ready to face hapless Han. Show me you're ready for the big time, and I'll make sure you don't have to dance with the children anymore. Are you ready to get started? Yep, let's Excellent. begin. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. I've got a good feeling about this. I'm gonna beat and about this hand, and then we're gonna get all the silver we can. The qualifying division. Apple's hand looks like he's been beaten up shitloads. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. Apple's hand, who? So we smashed him. Han very well. I knew you would. All of our professional fighters move past him eventually. Queen, that will be enough. I bring you a message from my employer, Kai Lan, the serpent. He is impressed with how far you have come in such a short while. The Serpent wants you to know that he is watching your progress very closely. He is most interested to see how you fare in the Bronze Division. Kui, you may breathe again. That is all I had to say. Well, that was good, I think. Tell me more about Kyle on the Serpent. He has a distinct interest in the proceedings here. He is an ex-champion, you see. He retired some time ago, even before Raging Ox, who was the champion before the Ravager. Kylon couldn't leave the arena alone, though. He has become a very important man here with the help of a group called the Guild. Why do you let Lucky Cho push you around for you? Lucky Cho is a thug, pure and simple, but he's very good at what he does. He is also a member of the Guild and reports directly to Kylon. Ah, uh, that's why then. Overseas things here in the arena, and the guild ensures that the authorities leave us in peace. Um, enough about uh, what Lucky Joe said. Let's tell me more about the guild. The guild is the organization that controls all of the betting in this place. That gives them considerable sway. It is good that they are happy with your progress. Between us, the guild is also involved in more illicit activities. They are very sensitive about remaining an open secret. Many know about them, but few acknowledge that fact. Right now is a particularly dangerous time, as one of the leaders of the guild has recently been inhumed. Kailan sees this as an opportunity. Do not discuss them openly. The guild has many ears. You may ask some of the others in the arena about them if you wish, but I would not bring it up to just anyone. Um. The sound can go come those. I should turn them in. Uh, I'll be careful. A talk, wise so. decision. Very wise. For the sake of your career, I suggest that you limit any questions you have to your fellow fighters. Well done! That fight was much better than this wine. <laughs> With all the pure water pouring from the palace, you'd think they might have learned how to make wine that didn't taste like goat piss. Black Whirlwind, that is you. Are you back to... No, just here visiting. And making sure nothing happens to your newest fighter. So you won't be... No, leave it alone, Kui. You know better than to bring this up. Just mind your business, promoter, and I'll mind mine. <laughs> he, uh, you travel in curious company. 
Well, regardless, when you're ready, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your next match. Hold on, Queen. How do you know the White Whirlwind? Well? I know him, yes, but I know better than to contravigate his wishes. If you want to talk about it, ask him. I'm staying out of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare for your entry into the Browns division. It will take me a bit of time before you'll be ready for your next fight. You should talk to the other fighters here. They've been watching you and are getting nervous. Of course, I'll need more time than that for these preparations. Uh, what kind of preparations? It's just a matter of preparing the proper documents. Why don't you kill the time by making your way out into the city? See the site! Maybe visit the Golden Way or the Scholar's <laughs> Garden. Actually, that reminds me. A woman was here watching your fight against Hapless Han, dressed all in black and veiled. She seemed impressed with your preference. Oh. Just keep Got an admirer. To tell my new fighter that she was still waiting to see you. She said you'd know where. Sounds like quite the invitation. All right. Ah. God damn. Right, now I've got a plan. Right, we'll back up. Down here. Into the creature pens. Because it does this every so often and it'll mess up and up. There we go. Then we'll go back up. And boom, would you look at that? The camera's back to being correct. I don't want to talk to any of these though. Um, yeah, we'll go back to quit the promoter. Many, many people try to break into the bronze division and fail miserably. You should be proud of yourself. I am proud of myself, thank you. You deserve it. It was an honor to face you. It was an, it, it was an honor being in your little face, up, pal. Be ready when you do. Uh. Tell me, tell me about my next fight. I'd love to, but I'm still arranging the details of your entry into the Browns division. Besides, didn't you have some mysterious lady in black looking to meet you? Hardly an invitation I'd turn down. Oh, right, yeah. Right then. It's the doctor. No, it's some sweet. Uh, let's have a look down actually, we'll go down, we'll have a look, what we'll do, see what's about. God damn. There's actually nothing down here. That oh, bloody pointless, wasn't it? Weapons, but I can't pick any of them up or loot it. Can't go that way, so I might as well just go back up. Let's go. Double head this way because I can't go anywhere else. What's this way? Chef, chef. Scroll stand. Cannibal cookbook volume. Cannibal cookbook volume one. Fly customer. Well, we appreciate your business. The staff of the heart of the empire. Will I request that you keep your nose out of ours? To assure that you will no longer wish to pry our recipes. Please enjoy this ex excerpt. Recently un unearthed in the south. A leg of lamb. This hefty meal was first discovered after you lamb the hunter stumbled upon our community for five to ten people use just one leg the other can be picked for later or roasted slow and smoked to preserve it the larger groups use both legs an adult male or female boil the legs in a large pot for two hours with the following ingredients 20 gallons of fresh water Three tablespoons of salt, half a cup of rosemary, three cups of spiced wine. Some wine is the best you can get. Best if you can get it. Three bags of onions, your whole garlic cloves, 
and a dash of ginger. The legs have been have um have about half an hour left, and some skinned potato. Add some skinned potato, potatoes and leeks. Can be served on the bone and the steaks. What the hell, man? Ugh. It's a bit nasty, that isn't it? Dirty buggers. Need to find I can't imagine she's upstairs. Go outside and let's see what we can find. <laughs> it does, man. He's there. Is that oh, you, you can t you can tell it's got some age to it though as well. Um, what I've done is I've even gone into like the file and like changed some bits and bobs that were recommended. And at time, look at how in janky it's like that, right? So to to roll forward, you're supposed to double tap the move button in that direction. And then at random times, I'll just be turning, and it'll just bloody, just bloody roll. Nobody is safe from this criminal. But it has got that classic RPG style, this. It's, um, if I remember correctly, it's Bioware's first... Well, Bioware's first actual IP. Like, it, they're like actual own that they've done. Right, I'm playing controller because when don't answer yet. Here, all oh, right, no worries. I'll wait for you. It's a sea gate. Sea gate. Don't even get in there. The city's usually fairly calm, but there are reports of ghosts in the countryside. Of ghosts in the countryside. Right, we'll have to let me know. Seen this person? You must report it to the authorities at once. It is your duty. I ain't got a clue where this lady is. Oh, don't tell me it's up these stairs here. Oh, might be, you know. Uh, I'll throw some in the other one. Times, yeah, no stress, bro. No stress. Right, are you free for me to... Do you want me to answer the controller thing? Right, so I am using a controller because I'm having to play the game in window borderless and I have to use uh, the OBS as a window capture. So when I maximise this... The mouse then becomes sort of like out, it's not, it's like out of sync, I guess you could say. So when I'm hovering over, wait, let me show you. Let me show you. We'll start. So it's like that. Well, that is fine. But with this, right? Look, I'm hovering over, but it's not moving. I have to go underneath. So it's like out of line a bit. Then it's like that doesn't work, so it's a bit it comes a bit janky like that. So what I have to use is I have to use the controller, which to be honest, is actually supported relatively well. Um, it's just obviously every so often you'll have janky little moments where I'm turning and it'll throw my guy like to roll forward when he's not actually supposed to be rolling. You dress yourself in the manner of a common lady. Yeah, pretty much. No what I had to do attention. before I started streaming this game is I had to literally, I had to remap little bits and bobs for the triggers to make sure it worked right. Then I quit out so that I didn't spoil anything for myself. And then that's when I started playing it again, when I started streaming, so it was blind. 
Uh, no. It doesn't actually have a windowed mode. You've got... You've got widescreen. Or I think there's like one other, but there isn't actually a windowed mode. You have to go into the... Uh, the conf the config file and put it as windowed mode but that helps it run better as well yeah no I'm, I'm not switching back now I've got done gone a bit too far if I could get it to work however keyboard and mouse isn't that much harder it just means with the abilities instead of being only be able to use four I can have like however many I've got because then you can just press like one all the way up to nine. Uh, but it is a bitch. Let me tell you. Can't wait until you stream League. Me streaming League of Legends. Oh my god. It'd be awful. You'd just see me spamming Q on Nasus like fuck. But like, why is he even pressing it now? Nah, it's not even up yet. I'm just here spamming the f out of Q. Because it's got to be done. Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. I'm in my journey through iron. <laughs> no, 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 it's the um, iron three. Here I come. That's what I've put down as my thing. I remember when um, when we got into bronze, and I just left my guy in bronze. Well, I'm not doing anything else because I'm in bronze. I'm staying there. Uh, just for yourself, or I will take offense. Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. Why does this guy want to get beaten up? Uh, there's no point to your insults. Defend your claims or cease this instant. Right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Damn right you would, Your brother. For You'd have to be with me. Was admirable. You are exactly what we need. There'd be no way I'd be doing it otherwise. But no, League of, Le <laughs> League of Legends is not on the game, on the streaming. On the games I'm going to be streaming. Let me tell you now, there's no way. An outlander strolled into the city. Absolutely no way. Like However, I do think it'd be funny, but I get I get a bit too salty at times. I'm good when we're winning. When we're winning, I don't care. And answers requests for payment. But as soon as we start losing, I get proper vexed. He needs to go. Yeah, no problem, brother. So it should be. No. No, it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't. I'm gonna I'm my plan is, at the moment for me, is I'm going to be streaming Jade Empire. Then when I finish with Jade Empire, I'm going to be moving on to... What's the oh, what's it called? Nah, Sekiro. Because I've never, I never actually played all Sekiro. I think I literally... I know I killed Gubu. And I know I defeated the Bull. But then I got stuck inside that bloody memory place or whatever it was I just kept getting my ass beat non-stop and there was no way for me to win so I was like I can't be arsed this game's hard so I put it down but the plan is my name but the plan is to play that on stream and you know sort of like mangle my way through it with you guys uh, this city hosts many visitors why is he so different the Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the Emperor himself. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe. But that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. Uh, perhaps I can reason with that That's one. That's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand, and then declares himself the winner. 
Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. Okay. I'll teach him not to mock our culture. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Several others have fallen short, despite their outrage at his antics. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, I hope you will prove to be a worthy opponent. Damn right, I'll beat his ass. The commoner, commoner. I need to get to the garden anyway, is there some shot like that to find that? And um I don't even remember the name. It's a hostel, I don't really want to go inside. Um I wanna find her. Uh, that gin or jam, whatever she's called. Wine. Lots of flavor. Oh, uh, strip stand. This stand is covered with books, papers, and other elements related to a play of some sorts. Into the body thing, eh? Is this dude? I won't talk to him. Skull's Garden. Is it Skull's Garden? Let's have a walk. Where does she say should be? Meet Princess Leanne located specified in her note of Skull's Garden. This is Skull's Garden. Right, so we should be able to find her here now. Which will be nice, because I can crack on with that. And then, I can get on with the arena, which is what I, I really want to do. I didn't expect you in your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. Of course, I could tell that just by looking at you. You have a very strong presence. Change the game, Princess. Who are you now? As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. Right. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. I... He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, or you are. There was something familiar about him as well. The Ralph, we fear him, he is suddenly the glorious strategist. It's all your father can do to restrain him. It's all your father can do. There, um, he's familiar because you are related. He's suddenly. Why would you say that? Is that what he told you? I'm sorry, but I simply cannot believe that your master Lee is the glorious strategist. Uh, he is. It doesn't matter what you believe. I know it, and that's enough. Sun Lee died twenty years ago. Everyone was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire. Now, it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Li and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. Uh, shouldn't this hand as a priority for me? A wise decision. His hold over my father is nearly absolute. But if we could show conclusive evidence of his crimes, my father would have to listen. I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Ooh. Death's hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire, and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. I've been found Lotus Assassins. How can I infiltrate? 
We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk Ugh. in. They are recruiting. <sighs> I fought a number of them. I'll just be spotted. Have any Lotus Assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tien's Landing. Well, I didn't think I killed them. They have a vague I just thought we beat them all. Work that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, <sighs> not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. I mean, okay. Um. Uh, how can this there be are done? Guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The executioner will take a real interest when you finish the silver round. Or if you prefer, the inquisitor recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Okay. Uh, you know a lot about the assassin, about the Lotus Assassins. Why? Death's hand rules over the Lotus Assassins, so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could <sighs> simply tell them your name. Well, all right, lady. Um, I'll see what I can learn in the Imperial yes, Arena. Yes, I will have my people spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the silver round, the executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Or, if you prefer, court the Inquisitor. Ask scholar Dong Gao in the Scholar's Garden about him. I hear Dong Gao is closer to the assassins than he should be. I will wait at your flyer. Or I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps we should uh, discuss how closely we will be working together. Oh, damn. Travel with me now. The bot will win. And go away at the fire. A wise preference. No offense intended to amusing companions. Sliding in there, boys. Dawn Star's gonna be jealous. Oh, from the from Princess Leon. Press his time, of course. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna be jealous. I'll see if we can search any of these. Wow! Well, look who we have here. There's no princess to save you this time. Oh, you wanna go? Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Don't look at me. I can't do anything right now. Not like this. We'll teach you to insult a guard of the Imperial City. I mean, we didn't even insult you, dude. We've got issues, boy. Oh, let's do that. Insult this shit up. What are you... So, none of this... is... breakable. No, it's not. it's not. However, there is a book stand. Scholar Xiao Zhang has once again missed the central point of the philosopher's argument. We do not wish to store development, nor do we seek to stop people from learning. Philosophers see the work of the divine in the physical world and oppose those who defy tradition, only because they find some customs inconvenient or outdated. Learning and respect um, for the past need to be mutually exclusive. We seek only to learn in a way that does not dishonor the celestial beings that give us our very lives. Okay then. Right, so there's no point really going this way, is there? There's another scroll stand, boys. Oh, 
Oh no, my internet's died on my laptop. I can't see chat. No. It'd been perfect as well. There we go, it's back. Beautiful. Configuration of snake. There we go. Run. Long drought stands as one of the worst periods in the Jade Empire's recent history. Ten years of scorching heat and little rainfall took their toll on an even the prodi pro prodigious uh, reserves of the Empire's granaries. The sages predicted at least three more devastating and dry years, while those the Ministry of Harmony watched the death toll mount into the hundreds of thousands. Then Emperor Sun Hai declared that the drought was over, and somehow it was. Though the Emperor's divine will, Green, returned to our patch land, its stability was restored. Hmm. It was a bit dodged, that. Oh, we leveled up. Went off here. Wait, wait what? What? <laughs> as amusing as your savage dances are, once again I have proven the superiority of setting your nose to the grindstone and not mucking about. Now bring so, some sounds like John Cleese. Mug, or I'll take back the coins of my home and country. Don't you heathens know the worth of a proper king's hatenu? <laughs> uh, generous visitor. If our customs are so displeasing to you, perhaps you should find lodging elsewhere? Please. Tell him. And leave you lot to your primitive ways? Tell them what I think of that, Squire Percival. Sir Roderick Ponce von Fontelbottom, the magnificent <laughs> bastard, will do no mm -hmm. such thing. He means to educate you all. Good lad. Found him wading in the mud, planting weeds. You can't keep your crackers crisp doing that. Can't help you if you don't know the horror of a soggy biscuit. <laughs> I've given him dignity, and unless one of you has the will to deny that I'm your better, I suggest you start learning. We'll have you in proper trousers by the morrow. <laughs> what you want? Sir, your arrogance is astounding. We are cultured uh, people. That? Someone's stepping to the fore. Let's have a look at you. Ah, you look quick with your fists, but I'll wager your head falls behind. Too much time slapping each other, and not enough time strapped to a desk in a decent classroom. The simple truth is that I have bested every one of you who has come forward, whether in tests of wit or combat. You faced a champion of king and country. Now, I didn't ask to land here, but if a storm is going to cast my ship into the very heart of such a dark empire, I'll bring the light of knowledge wherever I can. Me. You must hunger for guidance. You're like children. I mean, only a handful of you can even grow a decent moustache. What kind of place is this? <laughs> mm. Blind yourself for prejudice. I can prove Anywhere, you wrong. Shall we put that to a test? I welcome the chance that you might impress me with a glimmer of intelligent insight. Yes, let's but try. I acknowledge that I am likely to disagree just because I know you are uh, lacking. We will need educated men to judge the merits of our arguments. <laughs> What kind of contest are you looking for? I've gone to great pains to learn your barbaric tongue, only to find that none of you has much to say. Can you convince me otherwise? It depends, really. I've heard a distinct lack of couplets and quatrains to say nothing of pentameters. Is it any wonder you people live as you do? 
I charge you with defending the heart of your people. If a group of judges determines that you have adequately done so, I will declare you the winner. <sighs> Very well, I agree to this. Who shall judge? Uh, whoever you wish. These five standing here. I'm sure there will be a balance of opinion. The test must be fair. Go on, talk to them all to prove I haven't coerced them. We'll begin the debate when you're ready. Then we'll see how you fare in combat. Doubt you'll do very well. Like the rest, you're all just too damn skinny. I mean, okay. I heard you accept the Outlander's challenge. I'm grateful you have seen fit to defend us all. I would be honored to sit in judgment of the debate. Several of my fellow scholars have also volunteered. I trust you'll judge fairly. To do otherwise would only help the Outlander win in the long run. If he wants a true debate, we will allow it to progress fairly. Of course, I <laughs> doubt his arguments will have the weight that he expects. Not here in the heart of the Jade Empire. I am merely quick to see my own faults, but I, like my fellow scholars, am adept at exploiting the weaknesses of others. Scholars Heng and Zhao are easily swayed with simple facts. Cite such details and they are certain to change their opinion either for or against. I wish you luck. I look forward to your defense of the Empire. Oh, this could be an interesting one. Let's quick save just in case I'd fuck it up. Oh, we've got a level up actually. Uh, one, two, is up up here. Thirteen. I really like the paralyzing one. Damage increase. Ow. To get fortune's favour. Fucking punt in, mate. I don't know if that's an option, you know. Damage increase. Speed increase. Yeah, I don't think it's an option just to punt him straight in chops, like. I think, I've, I, think I can fight him after. But for now, I've got to sort of like, oh, this figure is out what everybody prefers. I've been asked to jury a debate before, and now I'm the third of your five judges. My name is Scholar Zhao. Uh, to see what they actually prefer, like what answers that they're gonna, what kind of arguments do you favour? I haven't given it much thought. I pictured myself as balanced, but some of the others. Well, are very the guy that I'm like gonna be debating sounds like John Cleese, like honest to God. By mocking your opponent. I don't care for it, but they seem to respond quite vigorously. No, it's not a fiery punch, punch, punching, which I wish it was. Um, I've got to try and figure out what they prefer, and then debate him, and then fight him, I believe. Are you going to see you can swear score kind of by mocking your opponent? I don't care for it, but they seem to respond quite vigorously. I've argued in this group of scholars many times before. We are so used to each other that we will change opinions just to further the debate. Okay. Don't worry so much about what you are saying when you respond. Just concentrate on how you say it. Okay. Uh, do you share the minister's dislike of the outline? He's closer than the thinkers I am used to, but on the whole, I am not as upset by him as others appear to be. He seems bent on disruptive behavior. He should be encouraged to take that elsewhere. Should get ready, goodbye. Good this should be an interesting debate. Say, I've got a debate in, man. I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. So, Scholar Hang, let's speak. see. I am Scholar Hang, and I will be serving as the second of five judges for the debate. I look forward to honorable discourse. Uh, what kind of arguments I'm do you think? I'm sure the others agree that my tastes are balanced. The minister, however, is easily engaged by sympathetic pleas. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Ryan, Ryan knows. Such fawning to be distasteful, but that but is dude, she's ancient. I can't just punch her. I break a breaker. Shut all the nervous system down. <laughs> Try to choose your arguments in a sequence that eventually turns everyone in your favor. Don't worry about losing a vote on a single topic. Okay. Good luck against ready. the Outlander. He is a tenacious speaker. I honest, honest to God, right at first when you said you're about fucking punter, mate. I, I thought you were gonna say right in a fart box, but you changed it. But you put no, so it's all right. Um, let's see what Scott Kai has to say. My name is Scholar Kai, and I will be the fourth of five judges for the debate. I suggest you don't mess it up. All right. God damn. Feels like she's been stung by loads of bees, bro. Argument do you offer? Is impartial, but some of my fellows are easy to goad into decisions if you know their tastes. The minister is particularly fond of confrontational arguments. Respond in a rage, and you are sure to engage him. Uh, do you share the minister's disdain for the outlander? He's an insult to our accomplishments as a people. If you fail in the debate, at least take him to task physically. I don't care where he came from. Anything to get him on his way. Uh, what kind of argument do you fail? Impartial, but some of my fellows are easy to goad into decisions if you know their tastes. The minister is particularly fond of confrontational arguments. Respond in a rage, and you are sure to engage him. Uh, I'll get ready for the debate. Goodbye. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do, Ogre it. Just gonna save, quick save. And then we're gonna fight Sir Roderick. Well, ready to set the ponies in motion, are we? Let's declare some rules and get to it. You don't mind if I make this interesting, do you? Or oh, by by whatever crime it's you said. I don't want to set you off your game, but I thought we should ensure that the process was more entertaining than a simple checklist of virtue. It will be a simple matter. Five judges, six topics. I'll pose my argument about why your foolish land stumbles like a child, and you try to answer. The judges will raise their arms to indicate whom they favor. Arms up for you, arms down for me. After six topics, if you have a majority, you are the winner. By the Queen's corset, if you get them all on your side at any time, I'll declare the match over. Now, shall we proceed? Right. Uh, I, I will lie. pull no punches, and I expect no mercy on your part. Let's see which of us is truly superior. Uh, the mustache is quality, isn't well, it? Well, what shall be my first point of contention? I know the most basic of concerns for a culture, the currency Aye. of its economy. What manner also of society held a message for the silver coin as the Boy. basis of oh, the Gold is clearly superior, which you add oh, right, there by we are. using it for important... He defo folks. He does defo folk. Yeah, I don't get why that even. I didn't even know we got all Omar, bro. I really didn't even know. Honest to God. What even? I don't even know. You, your understanding of what determines values for your rebuttal. Um. Factual scarcity proves gold. Should be reserved for high purposes. Well, you are clearly in the minority, but I can spare no quarter. To the next topic. Um, I call attention to the arrogance of your empire. You simply assume I didn't that know all that, lands you know. outside your borders are the domain of barbarians and monsters. How can you truly know they are uncivilized until you've proven it by conquest? Crush them beneath your heel. You sit here thinking while far off lands. At least you were on it though, to be fair, Brandon. Like 
But I am attempting Moderating well there, son. Uh, we don't want to earn the same hatred we feel for you. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. It's not over Shine just raging boner. <laughs> You've got strange uh, dragon powder. You uh. Any decently civilized people would have developed a proper array of okay, personal now. sidearms by now, like old Mirabel here. Uh, you're obviously hiding a, hiding a lack of ability elsewhere. Must be fond. I can't see anyone in my favor. Right, have we done it? It appears they ah, the we've won. Against you. Yes, we won the debate, boys. Ooh, clearly, these people Get are it. fairly comparing one of their own to an outsider. This is a farce. Uh, you decide the rules. We act. We have acted Step fairly. Perhaps, it was my mistake. To think you would be open to anything other than your own backwards ideals. Huh. I seek In it, don't he sound like John Cleese? me in debates, but true honor is decided on the dueling field. If that is, if that is your wish, I'll meet you in the combat. The hall here has walls to be up against, corners to be John Cleese is. Oh, Brandon. To be down, but you are falling down. from Whatever grace for me, more, sir. I'll beat it. Falling from grace, Monty Python, um, Faulty Towers, come on son, being all sorts to be fair as well, but he's mainly known for Monty Python. I'm ready now, let's begin. Good, let's get this over with so I can return to schooling the rest of your fellows. I envy you. You are about to experience for the first time the skill that has forged an empire and travelled the world. Do you know something that you I didn't actually know until um, a couple of weeks ago when we were watching we were watching Harry Potter? Is that um, he actually plays he nearly headless Nick? I didn't know that. What in God's name? What in God's name? I need healing. Let's what in? My style is oh, I just bought it one, yeah? Uh, Alright, I've actually never seen Money Path then. One of the shows that, that just went under my bed, I never got around to watch it. It was a fair fight, uh, just, so you can just watch some of the skits on um, thing on YouTube, bro. One of my favorite ones is the um, Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> gotta be done, mate. Gotta be done. Instant transmission. I suppose I should have seen it coming. Your win in the debate was a sure sign. I do. Yeah, yeah. Have a look on um, on YouTube. Uh, Spanish Inquisition, Regardless, Monty Python, it's funny as fuck. Honor, I cannot deny. Uh, it was not your day. Take a class and go, it. it was not your day. Well, there's no other thing for it. Intended or not, you've earned a reward from me. The unsuccessful combatant in a duel must arrange a worthy gift for the victor. I wouldn't be much of an ambassador for my country if I didn't abide by its customs. The Duchess of Almsbottom's rules of engagement are quite clear on this matter. Um. Game audio is a little too quiet now. I won't be much an ambassador for my country if if I didn't abide by its customs. The Duchess of Umsbottom's rules of engagement are quite clear on this matter. Uh, for something useful, you are, for example, physical strength is quality. I'm interested. 
I was just improving my mind. I'm concerned with the spiritual matters. That's some useful. You weapon for Mirabelle example. Mirabelle is yours. Treat her well. She's a finicky lady. I can turn it up. Originally, I turned it down because I got told that it was too loud. Darken this garden no more. By you. Temple 997. Turn it down. Now I'm turning it back, buddy, up. Can't win, we are. Don't hold it. Settings. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Originally I had it set at 80, but you said it was too loud. That's number six. Just fuck it, we'll go to A. Bugs mates on 81. I'll do. And no, no, you said that the game audio were too loud last time. Not in the last stream, but in one of the other streams. You said that the game audio were too goddamn loud. Can't win me our folk. Can't win at all. Uh, what we'll do is we'll talk to this dude. And we'll see if it's um, see if it's any better. A well-fought victory against that outlander buffoon. You showed that he could not best us in battle, mentally or physically. That better? We are all in your debt, but the Ministry of Culture is particularly so. Please take this token sum of silver as payment. You certainly earned it. Um. I deserve more than this. I control a very limited treasury. To give any more would call attention to what has happened here. Gents, is the is the voice good enough? Charm, I said the reputation of the Empire. Such an example to serve special favors, doesn't it? A very good point. Here, take this. I should know not to barter with a master debater. <laughs> Do you disagree? I've never seen such a cunning linguist. What? <laughs> it is money well spent. How do they not know? Compensation because my own diction Damn came right up short. I'm cultured swine. Ram, you know what you need to do? Get all your rings on and pimp slap them. That's what I'd do. Rough tongue where I'm not, I don't want to talk to you right now. It's around here. Oh, I just let it just take us down. Round, we've got another scroll stand. Uh, tough scholar, and though scholar Xiao Xiang has raised several interesting points in his rebuttal to my tret, tret eyes on the physical world. His lack of respect for the divine is of greater concern than his lack of understanding of the physical world around him. I agree that there are many aspects to our world that cannot be explained by divine influence alone. We learn and continue to thrive at the mercy of the, of the celestial beings. Without their guidance and indeed their blessing, we, should qu uh, we would quickly discover that research and understanding of the physical world alone are not nearly enough for us to survive. Brandon, I need you to tell me if the, if if the voice is alright. his way back into my garden, he'll find such a cold reception that he'll never come again. Oh, my whoever. Hey, uh... Is that... 
Are they loud enough now when they talk? He may not know he is the center of a joke, but that does not decrease my enjoyment. Oh, go on, what's the truth? I need to know, down now, because we need to turn it up. They're down 10%, god damn, man. Uh, uh, audio settings. Boys. We'll go down to 82. We'll hope that's good enough. What I'll do is I'll talk to the same guy because it's not like because we've already spoken to him. If Sir Roderick pushes his way back into my garden, he'll find such a cold reception that he'll never come again. Buzzy. Hey, uh... Right, we're sorted then. We're sorted, lads. We're not going to mess about with it again. Until probably next stream. Everything goes tits up. Because at the beginning of this stream. Um, beginning of this stream, everything it was messed up. Like the audio weren't working. Um, so you could hear, you could hear me, but you couldn't hear what was going on in game. Luckily, it was literally just thirty minutes of pure talking, really. But the beginning of this game was. Well, Uh, I don't think we can hear, but you are not have to... Well, that's good. As long as everything's alright, that's the main thing, man. Eh, uh, what were I supposed to do now? Nah, can't remember. Oh, the arena. Let's go back to the arena, boys. Let's go kick ass. Damn it, every time I do oh, well, I don't actually do anything, it just does Oh dear, it. oh dear, this won't do. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, I kind of want to know what he's going to say. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I was just muttering to myself. I'm in some trouble and... Wait, you, you could help me. Oh. You're clearly not from around the Imperial City and I need someone's help most desperately. Someone unaffected by the politics of this place. Okay. What can I do now? See, there's been a mix up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play. Oh. I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of me. And if not, you have now, I suppose. I didn't think it was that deep, bro. One of my productions has been touring the countryside and catching people's attention. We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here in the Golden Way. Um, sounds positive so far. Where's the problem? The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key piece of the play has been rewritten. Okay. Uh, worried the corrupt in your eye? Why worry about a few rewrites? Doesn't that happen all the time? No, no, no! Well, yes. But not like this. <laughs> well, his face is They've killing me. They've changed it from a commentary guy. of man's inhumanity to man to a satire of the empire. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the whole point of the piece. Okay, you're right. That is a terrible. A like-minded island amidst a sea of dolts. Oh dear, that was a poor metaphor. The point stands, regardless. I'm certain the Lotus assassins would blame me for the satire. I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man, just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and read the role the, uh, original way. You have a most regal bearing, so I'd expect you'd have no, well, no major problems at any rate acting the role of Lady okay. Fourteen Flowers. If you talk to first degree thespian Fong up by the pagoda, Wait, what? tell him you're the He wants me to do a play where I'm a woman. So all you'll have to do is I mean, read yeah, the proper not, lines. I guess. Uh, you want me to play? Yeah, look, you want me to play Lady Fourteen Flowers? Of course, all the roles are played by men, uh, or at least women with the decency to pose as men playing women. It, it's well, it can get complex sorting it all out.
That's how players used to be. Did they? Well, I don't remember how to be a thing. How to act. The point in that. Boring, isn't it? Uh, sounds interesting. I'll Here's do a it. copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal. That's a bit of shit. Yeah, so this this copy is not fair enough, properly. man. Not like that edited pile of dumb. Not even thought about it. I'll be honest Turn with you. Turn over to the large pagoda overlooking the golden way and tell Fong that you're the me, replacement. Me, when he when he asked, asked me to play his so thing, uh, play the role of Lady Fortune. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do you that. I'm a your lines. No guy's a dude. Also, it's not gonna look right. From this script. Now, good. No, you're about to perform, so I shan't jinx it. Get to it! Truly really happy, this guy. Incisive chorus original script. Remember where it's set to go. Oh, right, right. We're going to the arena. Well, I do want to know what the play is about. Right, what we'll do is we'll have a look. The the play is the thing. A player has approached you hoping you can provide uh, hoping you can help him preserve the integrity of his play. You agree to take on a small but pivotal role in the performance. Find an actor in the golden way. Where the bloody hell is the golden way though? That's the Skull's Garden. Then it's the Golden Way. Oh, and the Pagoda. Right, 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 right. I know where that is. We are going to be the best Lady Fortune you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. Oh, there You're we go. My way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. It's me. It's me, dude. I'm the understudy you needed. You? You're the replacement? Well, why aren't you in costume? If you're going to be playing Lady Fourteen Flowers, you'll need your dress. Oh, give me the dress, ma. There's no time for you to run back and get yours. I'm sure we can find one to fit in the back, though most of our performers are less broad. So I can just Did be a butch woman, can't I? Sent you over here? Let me see that. No, 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 no! This is all wrong. They sent you with the old script. Bloody Actors Guild is staffing itself with water buffaloes, I tell you. Here, have it back. The script's recently been revised. So even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you head on stage. Who changed well, the script? A southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions, and here we are. <laughs> I'm sure oh, this guy. Told you that we have it reminds rights. me of Pe we Pegasus in Yu-Gi-Oh. Here we are. Yu-Gi-Oh. You get nothing, just like normal. Understand? I think I've got it. Just get at least half the lines correct, and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that, and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. Don't worry, old boy. Read that I've got it. Come talk to me when you've got it, and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. Um, right, we'll just talk to him again. Have you read the script? Do you feel one with Lady Fourteen Flowers yet? I do, I do. I'm ready. Let's get the show on the Restless road. Restless spirit, 
Let's get you into the back and costumed up. Lady 14 flowers. I wonder if I'm gonna have makeup on. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him. But sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his life from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our Emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. Mm -hmm. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves. And lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. <laughs> but what word from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Aha, what is this? Why is Lady Fourteen Flowers? Is that me? We can only hope she brings word. Don't want that, me. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? But don't want that, me. Uh. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, a crimson red flies over my... A mouth. crimson red? Does my lady think to celebrate a marriage? I had heard nothing of this previously, but accept <laughs> It is me, but... They've done a really your good job. Your here is certainly welcome. With making me is one of not... The most recent to join the Jade Empire. Because manly, I guess. That the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? Excuse me. Eh. Our guardians were lost. <laughs> uh, so I just think I don't even understand the deepest part of the matter. Eh. Was it reached or did the heavens guide it to him? The way the dusk was slipping into night. Woo, look at him! You phrase that most I know, I know. Lady Fourteen Flowers. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the north? Amid a mighty forest of trees that were green despite the cold, and was ranking sand, raking sand in prompt meditation garden. Your daughter comes <laughs> raking sand. <laughs> Could you imagine? Vast plain, the ground covered in snow, a great river, its banks edge of frost, mountains, the bitter winds. Uh, go with the top wall. How fascinating. I was given to understand that the Horse Lord's lands were mostly plains, but there can be trees among the plains, I suppose. I fucking ruined There's it, this been blood. nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? Absolutely ruining it. Zen gardens and shit. Yeah, no, right, so... Raking sand, right? But <laughs> I, all I can think of you, right, is that he's like, he's like on the beach and he's like, he's got the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I mean, I know that's not raking, but that's all I could think of for some reason. Mm. That's all I could think of. Flower guardians may blossom, but the one for spring can hide an icy heart. Monster of the North are locked in ice and snow forever. 
This was some time ago, yes. Not all of this happens as we speak. Weighty 14 files as the gift of prophecy. Oh, yeah, let's do that prophecy, one. Is it? I see that the good lady toys with fortunate puzzles. For surely, we mortals can know nothing of the future or of events far away from the capital. You're just ruining it, 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 it. Indeed, I suspect that the true story lies in how far north the Emperor's reach is spread. It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? You need to march your business. Nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, who was it that our great emperor turned to? <laughs> no, uh, none other than two drops of tan, his personal food taster. I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> was also a turn to him. No one other than myself. I'm as close as confident. If <laughs> uh, to the to earth to hear it spirit sing out to him. To the want to know what Emperor Tien was alone. No one other than two drops Etan, his personal food taster, that's all we're going with. Two drops the poisoner. He is considered a great confidant of the Emperor, I believe. <laughs> uh. Wait. What word is this from the front? The Emperor sends word of his return. The Horse Lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. I mean, yeah, I guess. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, yeah. dear lady? Horse Lords proved too strong for our force. Serious sagacious Tien has got a little bored of always winning. To be frank. Bored? To think that... I question our lady's dedication to the Empire. The reports <laughs> I have here indicate that mm. the Emperor was halted by a celestial event of great portent. And so, our most noble Emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies poised to crush the Horse Lords and stretch the Empire to the ends of the Earth. But we stopped. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition. And overreaching those limits invites nothing. No, no, no. I want to ruin the play. It's funny, oh, isn't it? I'd be picky whichever I think is funniest, to be honest infinite. with you. Shit, <laughs> but this guy is having an absolute man. I shall inform the court immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no trees in there. The informant will suffer for a lifetime. Mm. You there, Lady Fourteen Flowers. That had to be the worst performance since Effective Pathos tried to complete his role in Tale of the Singing Reeds <laughs> after taking a sandbag to the head. Look at him, look at him. He's losing his marbles oh, over it. You have botched such mm. a well-known piece of history. Do you know nothing of our glorious past? There will be no payment for you. We'll be lucky if yeah. our director doesn't kill us all before he takes his own life out of shame. Be gone. Well, I don't think you're supposed Sorry. to ruin it, but you're supposed to make sure that I'll you didn't do it how he wanted the player to go the along. I must go try to calm him. I believe so, anyway. Either that or I've just done that entire, like, quest wrong. <laughs> it's true, we can't say anything about Wings for all. Need to go find the dude that gave it is. Let's go see what he says. I bet he's pissed. Had your, uh, moment, did you? Uh, you didn't come to watch? I never attend my own plays. No, much too nerve-wracking. Someone goes for me. She is very kind to do that. I heard how it went. <laughs> I can't believe that performance. Disgraceful. Had you followed the original script, it would have been a masterpiece. But you mangled it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, Stain, you'll honor your commitments. Had you honored yours, of course. You promised mm. that you would perform my stain. play, not that bastardized version. Frankly, I'm surprised they made that many changes. Mm. I know my own work, and I'd have let that performance slide had you flubbed only one of the important lines. But that was terrible. No one could have enjoyed that. <laughs> Terrible. Just uh, ink terrible. stain. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh. you got titty lip on with me, so I didn't do it right. Ah, oh. to be honest, I think it was funnier for me. Uh, I enjoyed fucking it up. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I wasn't supposed to fuck it up as bad as I did. Maybe I was only supposed to fuck it up a little bit. I mean, oh well, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> uh, no, not that way. I'm gonna go back to the arena if I can Don't find. Don't worry, Sontal. I'm doing everything I can to prove you're innocent. Is this dude? Good day, sir. Are you the new investigator I sent for? No, I can tell from your attire that you're not from the ministry. Oh, this is terrible. Everyone I send for disappears. There are powers at work here that are beyond my means <laughs> to control. Hmm. I am Prefect Jitong. It is my duty to ensure that convicted criminals <laughs> in the city are sentenced appropriately. Hmm. But there are complications. Sometimes it happens, bro. I have in my custody a suspected slave trader, Chandler Ling. But one of the high ranking ministers is trying to get him released, and he wants me to convict another man. The man they want to accuse, Scholar Sun Tao, is a friend of mine, and I'm certain of his innocence. I need you to find proof so I can present it to the Minister of Justice. Oh. I'll do it. I can't stand seeing this really? man accused. You will help me? Thank you. Gonna be an investigator Thank you now. So very much. I need to find proof that Ling is the guilty one, and by so doing, exonerate Song Tao. If I can't prove Ling's guilt, I'll be forced to sentence Song Tao to death. But every time I ask someone to discover the truth, they disappear or turn up dead. Our best lead is Zi Bao, the last person known to have spoken with Ling before his arrest. But Bao knows me and my men. He won't talk to us. You won't talk to me either. I tried earlier and you said no. Uh, about Scholar Song Tao. I've known Scholar Song Tao for several years. His uncle and my father were good friends. I only wish I knew why the governor wants him accused of this crime. If you want to know more about Song Tao, you should speak with him yourself. I draw out my Tell me about Chandler Ling. Chandler Ling is a well-respected businessman and merchant here in the city. Until recently, I had no reason to suspect him of any wrongdoing. When I investigated Ling's shop, I found a valuable knife that I had purposely entrusted to one of my men, a man who has since disappeared. Chandler Ling had a knife belonging to a man whose body couldn't be found. That was all the evidence I required. Hmm. I'll go Good. find Zibao. Look for him in the heart of the Empire Tavern. It's upstairs at the Imperial Arena. Don't scare him away. If we lose him, we lose our last connection to Ling. Do we have time to deal with this? I didn't agree to join you so we could solve everyone else's problems. Lady! You need to calm down. I like to do lots of other stuff. I 
I've lost. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where it is anymore. Where the arena is, that is. Crap. Be the way. Oh, god damn it! It's on that thing where it cocks up. Oh no, backwards. Then we'll have to go back in and hope that the camera's not all bugged out again. Yeah. Here we are. Right. So I know I'm pretty sure I know where that zing bow is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There Resisted. are rumors flitting about the city that you seek the attentions of the executioners. These rumors come from the palace itself, leaving me intrigued. And your business. You are a novice with no standing in the arena. What makes you think you are of any interest to me? I'm the most skilled fighter here. And show it with your skills, not your mouth. Anyone can talk about oh, their Oh damn! I need Listen, people Scarface, I'll drop you where you stand. If you were to knock Iron Soldier from his perch as Silver Division Champion, I would be impressed. Hey. I will be here if you wish to petition me further, but I don't acknowledge anything less than the best. Return when you are worthy, and no sooner. All right, all right. Uh, Muslim, oh, waitress, townkeeper, Sing Bao. Oh no, Z Bao. No, Sing Bao. No. Rano Uzi Bao. Really? Lots of people know me. So what? I'm a little busy right now. I've got a bowl of wine that needs drinking, so why don't you just find someone else to bother? They're all piss heads, aren't they? Just standard procedure. Alright, oh, uh, linked home there. See the slave traders. Who? I don't know anybody by that name. And I don't know anything about slave traders. Uh, well, just Leave me seven. alone. I have nothing to say to you, so why don't you just keep moving? I may have balls it up, boys. I may have balls it up. Uh, tame it to so I'll break Look, your neck. You don't have to get that way. These guys are ruthless. <laughs> I'm just looking out for myself. Well, at least we know intimidation works. You there now, but I can't promise you'll get a warm reception. Oh no! I just got the thing, eh? Zibao, what is the meaning of this? Summoning me to this place was bad enough. You know I can't stand the stench of these beasts. God's sake. I've already dealt with the last shipment of slaves, and with that damned prefect poking into our affairs, we have to be extra cautious. Now, there's an unknown quantity in this little meeting. Just who are you? So, so, so! Well, we are leading the way of the open palm fist. I just got, um, closed palm fist. No. Closed fist. Hey, listen! It don't want us. Lou the Prodigy. I'm here to clear the name of Skull Song Tao. Isn't that the fool who's taking the fall for Chandler Ling? Well, you've overheard your evidence. Too bad you won't get to tell anyone. Oh, that's what he thinks. Zibao was a fool to bring anyone here. We can't afford anyone nosing into our affairs right now. And you've heard He's got keys much. in his head. Get him, boys. The fuck? But don't <laughs> kill him. Get him, boys. 
Legendary strike. Wait, what? Long sword. <laughs> Give me literally one second, brother, and I will read your random bit of news. This has gone far enough. Um, far outrage after seven-year-old Roblox uh, Roblox avatar is violently gang raped by other players in the virtual world. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? Is it bad that I'm laughing at it? So like, but my god, what the fuck is wrong with people? It's bloody Roblox. Why'd you gang rape someone's character on fucking Roblox? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. How. <laughs> How have they managed to rape someone's character on a game? Like, it's not even... I didn't even think it was possible to do that. I don't think you can do that kind of crazy shit on GTA. And GTA is wild. Um... Made to put an end to your slaving. You're one of them, are you? I uh, when I was like 11, I played town. Roblox. And it was all, all janky ass, hours, shitty, broken games. Game. Yeah, I remember our Callum playing it um, on laptop when when we were kids. I never liked it though, but it was all like random crap and it was like a bit laggy and a bit buggy. Yeah, that's mad. Shit's evolved. Massively. Uh. If only I had a silver coin for every time yeah. I heard that. Come then. That sounds the mental wow. Come a long way. Let's be real. Don't have been able to make your own games on it. Well, yeah, yeah, I know it's aimed at kids, because um, when I was at work, they all used to come in all the time for bloody Roblox cars. They come in up to you and ask you where they are. It's like, ugh, get away from me, foul beast. But yeah, yeah, they the mean bloody business. Let me tell you. It, honestly, it must they must have developed that game loads. Since I last saw it being played. It's the last time I saw it get played, it were a bit of a mess. Really. However, that were a long, long time ago. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. I think that were around the what same time mean? as um, Star Wars The Old Republic came out. You know the MMO? Because I used to play that. Played that when it first came out, got it on laptop, oh man. Not sure how to do to get that fucker to work, run real. Uh tell me about my next fight. Now that you have qualified for the Browns division, your challenges will be more difficult, but you'll earn greater rewards. The stars themselves need to hear of Silver Phoenix if you're to make it in this division, so I've prepared a match to remember. The guards rounded up a group of subhuman things around the great southern forest. We're going to release them into the ring in groups for you. You recognize his voice? Are you ready to get started? The only thing I can suggest is having a quick little Google. Um, oh, I can't remember now. Excellent. Follow me. What we'll do after this fight, when I go back in, um, it should tell me what his name is. These monsters crave the flesh. I can't remember right now what his name is. All I know is is the arena man's master. I don't 
if that's any good for you. What in God's... What in tarnation is this? Oh, I hate these horrible bloody things. What is that every time? I'm getting caught in it too much. John Clays. That was a good start to the Bronze Division. I Those knew it was. Are far stronger than they look. Sounded exactly like him. Um, there you go. Nothing else I need from you, Quay. Um, yeah, he's just called Quay. Oh, a bit of a mystery to me. Keeps not a coin of her winnings, but is unbeaten. She's in this purely for the challenge, I think. If you face her, you'll find that her swordsmanship is deadly. Kana's studied techniques only found in the prosperous East, the provinces she calls home. She's even got a standing offer to pass the secrets of her blade mastery onto the first fighter to defeat her. So far, no one has managed that feat. Why was it? Next, you're going to step into what we call the Pit of Pain. It's not the most original name, I'll admit, but that's 500 years of tradition for you. The arena floor will be set up with ancient magical devices. They will attempt to fry you to a crisp, much to the crowd's delight. Your job is to stay on your feet for the course of the match while they fling deadly projectiles your way. I'd What's he being in, bro? But that's just me. Are you ready to get started? Yes, let's begin. Excellent. Follow me, and we'll get you ready for your next match. Oh yeah. Oh, Only Jack the Chan Adventures. That shit was quality, place. honestly. Oh, really good. Was really good. Hey, what? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Well, what was that supposed to be? Expect things to be much harder here than they were in the qualifiers. No amateurs to face this time. Next, you're going to step into what we call the Pit of Pain. It's not the most original name, I'll admit, but that's 500 years of tradition for you. In my abode. will be set up with ancient magical devices. They will attempt to fry you to a crisp, much to the crowd's delight. Your job is to stay on your feet for the course of the match while they fling deadly projectiles your way. I'd suggest dodging, but that's just me. Are you ready to get started? I mean, I'll try it again. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. It seems incredibly janky. The pit of pain. Oh no! Only no no! Quick survive! It's I'm gonna want bulk. That's how it wants me to do it. I can't stand on it. What in gods? Oh, give over. Frost one call, man.
was the weirdest thing I've ever had to do, and it was so janky. That was bad, though. Your sudden and polite silences are always appreciated, Queen. I'm sure you won't mind if I take a moment to pass a message to Silver Phoenix. Kylon the Serpent has, as promised, been watching you intently. You have impressed him so far, and he is interested to see how you fare in your next match. The Serpent foresees your victory in the next match, and he has backed his prediction with Silver. He sincerely hopes that his faith in your skills was not misplaced. That is all. If you will excuse me, I have some people who need to be spoken to. He's got issues, ah, well, I'm certain that won't be a problem for you. Did you have a question for me? Um, no, not really. I'm talking about my ah, next fight. Yes, your next fight. Uh, there's been a bit of a change in plans. Not that it will affect you too much, of course. It's all part of the traditions of the arena, you see. I have word that you're going to be facing a fighter specially chosen from the guild, you see. As soon as you're ready, you'll be facing him instead of a normal match. Did you originally see as my opponent? I was originally thinking that you'd done well enough to face Crimson Kana for the Browns Division Championship. Things change when the guild is involved, though. Hmm. The guild's the organization that controls the betting here. That's not all, though. Kailan the Serpent has a lot of influence here as well. I have to bow to certain pressures. I don't like it that much, but smart men don't voice that opinion too loudly. Not around here. Very well, I will deal with the skill I'm thug. certain it will be a small thing. Best to just finish it now. Are you ready to get started? Yes, Excellent. let's begin. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. I'm gonna fall whoever this fucker is. Many of you are asking yourselves why the serpent would return to the ring. Am I not retired? Yes. But does that mean I do not care about your entertainment? No. We've Pumped all him. seen the flawless Pumped him straight in the fart box. I got you, bro. That is Silver Phoenix. Now, it is time to put these aptly demonstrated skills to the test. And so, the serpent gives you a real spectacle. Have your silver handy to place your wagers. <laughs> I give you mm, have your silver handy. <laughs> and Terra Incarnate. What in oh no. Not a toad, dude. Not a bastard game, man. Uh, look at how hard they are. It's hard to fight, trust me. Oh, fuck. Just slow time. Slow time. Fuck him up. Trust me. Trust me. That was an exceptional fight. I haven't seen demons in the ring before. I always proves my skill too. No one questions your skills. That is why you were allowed to fight that beast. I'm convinced that you deserve a shot at Crimson Kana. Your victory has sealed the deal. That reminds me, I was asked to instruct you to talk with Lucky Cho before your next match. What did he, he want to talk say, about? And when I asked, he gave me that glare of his. Go, speak with him now. The sooner you do, the sooner I can return you to the ring.
Right, unfortunately, that is the end of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the end anyways. Because I'm starving, I want to get some food. So, I want to thank everybody that is, you know, that's jumped in. Everyone that's chatted. Uh, thank you, Brandon, Aaron and Matt for all being there. Thank you, Brandon, especially for helping with the voice audio. And thank you to Aaron for letting me know that, the stress that um, you couldn't even hear the bloody game at the beginning. So, thank you to everybody that stopped by. I hope everybody has a good end to the day. Take it easy, boys. Peace.